Hey, fantasy football friends. So it is the playoffs. Well, not the actual playoffs, obviously. It's the fantasy playoffs, which is really all we care about, right? No, I'm just kidding. I care about the actual playoffs too. But the fantasy playoffs, what we've been working for all year long, finally comes to fruition right now. So I am out in one of my leagues because as you all know, there were a ton of injuries this year crazy amount of injuries, right? And so it's really hard to win if your players keep dropping like flies, like mine did this year. Because I lost Tony Romo twice, Arian Foster twice. And then of course there was Des Bryant for most of the season. And then when he did come out back, Tony Romo went back out. So he was pretty useless at that point. And then Chris Johnson, I lost Chris Johnson too. And then, of course, I had a couple of players that didn't show up at all that should have done really well. And I'm looking at you, Mike Evans and Melvin Gordon. Very unhappy with you. So with that being said, I am ready to name my MVP in that league, which is, drumroll please, Steven Gostowski. <laughs> it's easy for me to say, right? That's right. A kicker is my MVP in my ESPN league. That's pretty sad state of affairs. That can give you an idea of what happened in my MVP in my ESPN league. But Guskowski, I'm gonna tell you, he is awesome. I will try to get him every year because he is good for at least 10 points every week. If you can get that out of your kicker, bingo. All right, so let's talk about the other league where I am in the playoffs, which is what we all want, right? So I'm in the playoffs and I won my, la my playoff game from last week, even though my team laid down, but I was up against somebody that had um, really given up, which makes me sad because you know what guys, play the season out. I I'm still playing in my other league. And in fact, I was not gonna pick anybody up because I wanted to be fair to the other teams that are playing for their championships. I was not gonna pick up anybody up off the waiver wire and I didn't. But when I checked on the waiver wire this morning, both Tyler Lockett and Bilal Powell will, were still available, which is baffling to me. But, you know, maybe those teams are rolling with their studs. So that's a good question. Do you roll with your studs during the playoffs? Or do you pick up some of these other players that are kind of peaking at the right time? And for me personally, it depends, right? If I'm really lacking like in my championship league that I'm playing for the championship in. I am lacking for wide receivers. I am stacked with running backs. I have great running backs. I have Devontae Freeman. I've got Matt Forte, Jeremy Hill, um, Ronnie Hillman. Gosh, I can't even think of them all. I'm, I know I'm missing some. Oh, Jonathan Stewart. Yeah. So I've got it. I'm stacked with running backs, but I could use a few more great wide receivers. So, wide receiver that I really wanted to pick up this week was Tyler Lockett. Seahawks are rolling like crazy. They've got a great matchup this week. And, uh, of course, he scored a lot of points last week. So, Tyler Lockett was who I wanted, but he went to the player right before me in the waiver wire. Makes me sad. But, it's okay. Because, like I said, I'm stacked with running backs and I'm going to use those to beat O'Brien this week. So the other player that I really like this week, if you're looking for somebody to pick up for your um, championship games, that is Bryce Brown. So two Seahawks. Seahawks are scoring a lot of points right now. A lot of points. And I really don't think that the individual players, I mean, obviously they're talented, but I don't think it's the individual players. I think it's the way that the Seahawks are breaking down the game right now. So play your Seahawks and they've got a great matchup this week. Um, so play your Seahawks and lock it if you get to pick him up. And then, of course, Bryce Brown. Bryce Brown is slated right now to be the starter. I heard that they're working out. Um, they've got Fred Jackson, too, but they're saying right now that they're going to they're going to start him. And I really liked him when he played last year at Buffalo. So Bryce Brown is somebody you want to look at. And Tyler Lockett is a no brainer. No brainer. Just a talented, talented kid. I've been looking at picking him up all year and now I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't because I really could use him right now. So that's fantasy playoffs right now. Um, oh, one other player 
throw to to pick up Denard Robinson. TJ Yeldon went down, um, and so Denard Robinson is is going to get a lot of carries. So if you've got some of those running backs that are in a committee and you might not get as much use out of them, those are some good pickups for you. So until next week, where hopefully I will be fighting for the championship of the Daily Blender League, I'll see you next week.